All right, moving on. By now, you're all probably familiar with our friends from Ulpan O, but how much do you think you know about their incredible dynamic curriculum used all over the United States, both in Jewish day schools as well as in charter and public schools? Well, to let us know more about the multi-layered and specially tailored curriculum, I sat down earlier this month with CEO and co-founder of Ulpan O, Yoel Gano, and Orit, and Orit Tahan, senior Hebrew teacher at both a charter and public school in Florida. Orit, Yoel, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having us, thank you. Karen. All right, so uh, I'm actually going to start with, with you, Yoel. You know, tell, tell us about the specifics of, of this curriculum. Uh, I understand that it's, it's multi-layered. What does that mean? What does that include? So talking about the multi-layer, you know, when we teach using our curriculum, what we have in mind, for instance, today I just uh, interviewed a candidate, and she had very good English. So I asked her one question. Have you spent a long time outside of Israel in America? She said, no. Then I said, asked her, have you watched a lot of American series? She said, yes. So we know that watching movies, uh, video clips, is a key to one of the layers. So all of our programs start with uh, video clips. Then we go to audio, to text, to translation into English. And when a student learns that way, he is immersed in the language. He owns Hebrew that way. This is one aspect of being multi-layer uh, curriculum. The other aspect is that we support what's called, when the teacher teaches, it's a uh, differential teaching or differential mm. learning. Because right. having in one group different levels of language, it's a big challenge for teachers, right? So our curriculum allows for that differential teaching. And this is another aspect of being multi-layer curriculum. You got to meet the kids at their level. Right. Of course. So, Orit, you know, I know that, that you've been uh, using this, this uh, Ulpano curriculum and you have a lot of experience with it. You know, what do you love about it? What's your experience with it? Okay, so if you're talking about love, for love you need chemistry. Now, if you have a good chemistry between program, student, and teacher, it's a perfect match. Now, the program must fulfill the student's needs and not the opposite way. So, if you see me for instance, um, as a chef, I have to tell you that I have the best ingredients open or in order to have the best dish and fulfill my students' um, needs. All right, so I'm hearing about the benefits of the differentiation that this allows for and also for the scaffolding and you know, that, that layered uh, building up of the learning. Uh, but you mentioned that you work in a charter school where I understand many of the students are not Jewish. So how, how do you use Ulpano's curriculum and connect Hebrew to their lives, you know, what kind of uh, creative twists maybe do you, do you include to, to uh, uh, make it your own? First, um, they actually choose me. They, it's an elective course. And I was in shock to see that uh, most of my students are not Jewish. We're not most. Jewish. Most. 60-70% of them are Christians, some, some of them from Iran, some of them from Lebanon. And I ask them, why did you choose me? Why you didn't go to art or PE or whatever? So I've got different answers, uh, but th that's not what important here. What important here, here is to compare this program to other program that I used to teach 19 years in elementary school, Jewish schools. In this program, uh, in, in the other programs, I had one program, one way, many levels. So students struggled, blocked, neglected, and I had no choice. I squeezed my heart. But in Upan Or's way, they feel successful, relaxed, comfortable, because they're independent. They have flexibility to choose who they want to work with. They have flexibility to choose their timing. If I would like to work on one page a thousand times, it's fine. And, and every time when they're getting tested, they're happy and ready. Which so, makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. Yes. All right, so Yoel, Yoel back to you. you know, what, how did you. What did you keep in mind when you were developing this curriculum exactly? You know, what, what type of learning environment were you, were you using? What was on your radar? OK, when Orly and I created this program, what we wanted to achieve on one hand is to have a very well-structured path for teachers to make them feel secure, to help them to walk with the kids towards a certain goal that they set with our help. 
But on the other hand, we wanted the teachers to remain creative as much as possible within the boundaries of the curriculum. That way, teachers could express something on their own, like a musician performing a, a piece by a certain composer. So the composer sort of, sort of you know, he has already the notes written, but the performer puts his heart, his soul into that. And that's what we wanted to allow the teachers to do. Like uh, Orit mentioned, for instance, when they learn the song, you could just follow the curriculum and learn the song very well and know it and sing it and enjoy, have fun. But on the other hand, uh, as Orit mentioned, she created a song festival. Kids make their own songs, their own vocabulary, their own pieces, their own dialogues. That way, both the teachers and the kids enjoy, as I mentioned previously, they own the language. It's not something that's uh, superficial for them. It's something that eventually comes on from within. And that's what we want to achieve. Memorization versus mastery. Exactly. And that's what we're yes. going for. All right, well, I can't, I can't imagine a better way, Would a more you like pleasurable to be my way to learn. <laughs> I'm, I'm always down to, to better my Hebrew. Let's do it. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, it's lead. a deal. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Shalom, dear viewers. Shalom. Since you have watched this video so far, it means that you must be interested in Hebrew. Great. We have an exceptional surprise for you. A unique free Hebrew gift. So you will both enjoy and learn from its content right away. Just register now using the Send Me Specials link in the description of this video. See you soon. See you soon. Lehitraot. Lehitraot from Yol and Orly.